Hey guys, it's Homestar92 here with another part of Let's Play The Wind Waker. In the last part, we very nearly finished this dungeon, but alas... Or, not this dungeon, but this particular puzzle, but alas... That is easier said than done. We still have a few more steps. This is a very long, time-consuming puzzle. But, I see no reason why we shouldn't be done by the end of this part. I have been recording now for... Oh, almost an hour. Hopefully my Dazzle doesn't crap on me. That would suck, and I would be very upset. Hopefully my computer doesn't, like, you know, run out of memory or something. That would also suck, and I would also be very upset by that. And, alright. One more step of the way. Alright, how do I get the light there? Got that reflecting to that, and I need to get that. Alright, so I'm gonna need medley. You'll see. I really... that's the big thing about this dungeon that I don't like. I don't like switching back and forth all constantly between the two people. It just... it's time consuming and annoying. And now I need to find Link. Oh, no, I don't. I just realized I can look at the map. Alright, so what you gotta do is get up here on this platform. And you've gotta get this light pointed right there. So that Link can reflect it successfully. Hopefully this isn't too difficult to hold my position and not lose my light, which it looks like it might be. Alright. Alright, I think we got good positioning for this. Alright. Good stuff. Okay, and I think this is the last leg of the puzzle. I think we've just about done it. Let's pull this guy out and I think everything else is already in place. Yep. That is good stuff. And that will reflect the light through here, which is what I'm thinking I probably need. Oh. Yeah, I know what I need. I need medley. Oops. Once again. Wow, I can't believe I've already wasted a pretty good percentage of this part, and I'm still not done with this puzzle. Like I said, very long, very annoying puzzle. And I tried my best to finish it in that part, but obviously, I am not a miracle worker. So... And that's another thing that I hate about this. If you don't line yourself up just right, it becomes impossible to do your job. I also find that Link is a bit harder to aim than she is. But once you get it, you don't have to worry about losing it. Okay, that was a headache. I'm kind of hoping we can get the boss key in this part because I really just am tired of recording. Like, you can probably tell my commentary is probably getting lamer and lamer. But, I kind of, it's just one of those things where I don't really want to be doing this. Are you seriously afraid to jump? Five feet. You useless freaking bird lady. Alright, I'll carry you. See, I don't like when the lighting gets all bright because you kind of lose some of the awesomeness of this game's graphics, and the awesomeness lies in the spectacular shading. Alright, I'm guessing this is probably where I get the boss key. Oh, you would freaking put those here. I just want to get these guys out of the way first. Oh, I'm cursed. Wonderful. Come on, wear off, curse. 
Alright. Now I can worry about you. Please drop a Knight's Crest. I just need one more. Haha. -ha. D helmeted. And D sorted. Yep, you're pretty much defenseless. Except for that giant shield. Alright, orb. That's nice. And boss key. Yay. And Knight's Crest. That means we have ten, so when we're done with this dungeon, we will definitely be heading back to Outset Island. And... yeah. I've still got about five minutes to kill, unfortunately. I don't have enough time to start the boss fight. I'm not going to start the boss fight. I'm going to go to bed as soon as I'm done recording this because... Well, I probably won't go to bed, but I'll kind of be settling down for the night, if you will. Let's go into that other room we opened. Which is over here. Since we do have five minutes to kill, after all. Oh, this doesn't look fun. I better get something freaking great for this. I've gotta kill three of them. Alright, we'll do it. And if I run out of time, I'm going to cut this battle, because you've seen it a few times already, so, you know, there's no real need to show it, actually. But I don't think there's much of a risk of running out of time. But yeah, just so you know, if I... if it randomly cuts, you'll know that that's why. Don't reform. Thank you. Die, 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 die. Crap. And hopefully my audio doesn't desync. Sometimes when I record a lot of audio, it'll kind of come out of sync. I'm trying to avoid hitting that orb. And he's reforming. Wonderful. Oh well. I've seriously got a crap load of time left. And as soon as I'm done killing the skull, I'm gonna move my mouse so my computer doesn't slip into screensaver on me, because that would be bad. But yeah, um, I guess that was as good a way of any, as any to kill time, right? Yeah, I would say so. Um, and I've still got a little bit left, actually, which gives me enough time to grab this chest, do my little outro, and pray that my Dazzle does not pick this particular moment to crash on me. It's been good lately. It's been behaving itself. So let's get this. Ooh, looks like it's something good. Ah, uh, treasure chart. Alright, whatever. I won't use it, but now you know that that's what's there. So at least there's that, right? Anyway, I know this part has been a bit short, but I'm gonna cut this here. So as always, if you like this part or you like this series, you're like me. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I am Homestar92, and I will see you guys next time. Later.